audio visual on the mic is Swayze. If you wanna have fun, then this the place to be. Morning show recorded, giving you the info daily. Yeah, you can't be bored with this show. Teachers better turn on your boy before I go. We keep you in the loop and we keep you in the know. Like the dress code, no cap. Getting back to the show. Good morning, Davidson. It's your boy, Andrew Schnoberger. I love that energy, man. And it's your it's your man, Osbound. You are very excited today. Is, is there a specific reason for that? I'm lamenting the loss of my orange. You're excited about that? No. But I'm acting. Oh. But what, what, what's the date? Today acting? is Monday, February 22nd, 2021. Now let's pass the Galen orange for the weather. Because he lost his orange. His whole story is fine. Rest in peace, orange. May he be squeezed indefinitely. Today will have a high of 62 with a low of 39 and 45% chance of rain. More rain! And tomorrow will have a high of 64 with a low of 40 and 10% chance of rain. Oh, thank you for that weather, Thanks, Galen. Galen! Now please stand for the pledge, everybody. I, I pledge, pledge allegiance, allegiance to, to the, the flag of, of the United, United States, States of America. America. And, and to, to the Republic, Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You may now be seated. And now, let's toss it on over for a moment in Black History. Claudette Colvin, born September 5, 1939, is a pioneer of the 1950s civil rights movement and retired nurse aide. On March 2, 1955, she was arrested at the age of 15 in Montgomery, Alabama for refusing to give up her seat to a white woman on a crowded segregated bus. This occurred nine months prior to the more widely known incident in which Rosa Parks, secretary of the local chapter of the NAACP, helped spark the 1955 bus boycott. Colvin was one of five plaintiffs in the first federal court case filed by civil rights attorney Fred Gray on February 1, 1956, to challenge bus segregation in the city. For many years, Montgomery's black leaders did not publicize Colvin's pioneering effort. It was widely accepted that Colvin was not accredited by the civil rights campaigners at the time due to her pregnancy shortly after the incident. Now, let's pass it to Annie and Krishma for We're the Day. And today's word is disconsolate. It means unhappy, cheerless. Glum. Basically, the weather right now. Ah, uh, yes, this beautiful rainy weather right now. Yeah. Let's hope Monday seems better because Thursday was a downpour. I'm ouchy. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I got hypothermia today. I Stop walked, being dramatic. I've walked back and forth between these buildings underneath this rain, and it was like when it was bad this morning. Anyway, that's all we have? Yeah, we yeah. won't see you tomorrow. Yeah, we won't actually. And you'll find out why? Yep, tomorrow. That's all. Bye. Bye. Seventh grader Anna, seventh grader Anna Harwood is the runner up in the district spelling bee and will be competing in the state meet. Congratulations, Anna. Yes, very, very, very uh, great. You can there. spell words. Excellent, very excellent. Clap, clap, clap for her. Uh, once again, if you want to submit photos for the yearbook so you don't get like a bad one, mm -hmm. email yearbookdfa at gmail dot com and that will be your yearbook photo. Yes. Use your filters. All that. Maybe not. 
Maybe not. Yeah, definitely not. Okay, anyways, uh, our lunch will be the barbecue sandwich, cheese, quesadilla, baked beans, and assorted fruit and milk. And milk. No, there's oh no. Oh my god. There's no birthdays. Bro, god. This is like two weeks now. Two weeks in a row. Like, if you have a birthday, please submit it to WDFA Morning Show at gmail.com. We're not going to embarrass you, maybe. There's like a 50% chance we'll get embarrassed, and that's, that's pretty good odds, I guess. Uh. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, anyway. uh, with that being said, if you or any of your friends have birthdays coming up, email a name and picture to WDFA Morning Show at gmail.com. And on the show. seniors, make sure to check your mind for 2021 Fine Arts Scholarship announcements. That's all we have for today. That is all we have for today. And since your orange got stolen I'm, from I'm you. I'm going to go find my orange and finish it. You must have some inspirational quotes about that orange, don't you? Mic check. When life gives you oranges... Make orange juice. Yeah, <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow.